Hi, my name is Lorenzo. I'm an Airtable architect, and today I'd like to talk about this new Airtable feature that was just released called Script Block. Script Block is an amazing feature of Airtable that will completely open up the functionality for Airtable, especially in the circles of automation and modification of data that you otherwise couldn't do with Airtable uh, without fully utilizing their API. This is a more lightweight solution to that. Now, if you're familiar with blocks period, you'll know that blocks are enhancements to Airtable. They have an expandable um, section that comes on the right side of your, of your base that you can expand and collapse. And when you expand it, you can install blocks and Airtable has a number of predefined blocks that are built by Airtable. So the new predefined block is called scripting. And basically you can install that block and then you can write scripts in the interface and those scripts interact with an API that allow you to write code JavaScript code against your Airtable database and test it in real time. And they have a little editor for that as well. So you will see if you want some great examples of that, you can go to the Airtable universe. And if you type in scripting, you'll have an example scripting script showcase. You can click that example script showcase and then you can explore the base. And it's just simply like a list of scripts that people um, have used and shared for other people to use um, in their personal bases. One of the scripts that I began to play with was this Netflix style UI script. Um, you can click the link and then you can kind of go in and into the Airtable community and you can kind of cut and paste that script. What I did, was I did that and I kind of enhanced it. So what you will see here is a simple base. Um, it's called Movie Madness. I have a table with a number of columns and I have this new script here called OMDB Sample Script. It's a custom script um, that I modified and wrote. And this script here is just a simple OMDB TV search. So if I want to search a TV show like Knight Rider, I have Knight Rider that comes in here from um, the OMDB API and I can simply add it to my base and then that title is added to my base and you can see Knight Rider here is added. So this is just a test workflow, but if you were a movie buff or someone who really liked movies and you had a base and you wanted to automatically bring in specific titles and bring in all their data from those titles without having to um, go to a website and cut and paste a bunch of fields over and over again, this would be a perfect example of what you could do. You could create or use this block and then you could simply search for the titles um, on IMDB. And then when you see the title you want, it shows you the metadata for the title and you can simply add it directly into your base and you can continue doing that. So this is just a super simple example of something you, you could do with a scripting block. Uh, there's many more examples. I would suggest you check out that example script showcase. And if you are interested in exactly how I created this OMDB TV show search script, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll be posting another video in the next couple days of a step-by-step -step of exactly how I created this script from start to finish. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little intro into Airtable's new feature of the scripting block.